All right, you guys, what is up? Sure, Goblin here, and I must apologize in advance for not uploading any videos lately. I've been real busy with stuff, and I hope you guys can see me. If you can, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, um, I've been real busy lately. Let, let me just do that. There we go. So. Yeah, I've been real busy lately over Marvin's. I haven't had time to upload any videos. I've got a lot of video game videos, and I'm still waiting for my brand new, for the brand new, uh, Voss DLC map to come out. For the new Far Cry game. Which it said that they would, that would be released this week, but it never did, so. I just plan up, gave up on it. But, for entertainment purposes... I recently found a few knives that I've been wanting to do reviews on. I have done a review on one of them, but the other two I haven't done a review on. And these are some of my best three knives to use or to have, like, um, when you're out in the woods doing whatever. So, the first one here is this knife right here. It's a good, um fixed blade knife it's got a a paracord around the blade and the and the blade and the handle of the blade is all one metal sheet and then they just wrap paracord around it so if you need some paracord in a survival situation you can unravel that and the best part i think you can even turn this thing into a spear by unraveling it and then wrapping it around a stick jamming it in a stick and wrapping it around with the paracord and then you got yourself a good old spear look at the point on this hand on this knife it's very very sharp i haven't sharpened it recently because i've used it a lot back then whenever i first got it it's an ozark trail outdoor equipment very good knife very nice lightweight and stuff it's perfect for whenever you're wanting to have something that's lightweight to go on the belt and not really carry so much weight, you know. And it's got a simple little uh, sticky thing on there. And yeah, and the best part is it comes with a ferro rod. And you use that to create fires and stuff, which everybody knows what a ferro rod is, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But yeah, uh, 25 i think 20 to 25 dollars for this entire thing over at walmart i'd gotten this for christmas one time by my mom and it has been a good knife i've used i used it a lot back then but then i lost it i found the knife but i couldn't find this and then i found the sheath over at nancy's house which i don't know why i didn't look there sooner my second knife that i got you guys should know because you've seen this one before is this knife very good knife very nice once you and this one is a mossy oak which is good company for knives it's got a good uh blade guard right there for your thing and it's perfect for any size well any adult size um I wouldn't really recommend any kids to get a hold of this because this thing is razor sharp. And I haven't even had to sharpen it. It's super, super sharp. And I love the handle on it right there. It's very nice. I love the handle. And the blade is like one of those survival blades where, it just, where the top of it just dips down into a point. So it's a really good knife, and this thing costs about, I, I want to say around $50, because it had like a folding blade, a folding knife, and two, two extra knives. So, yeah, it's a pretty good for your, it's a pretty good knife for your buck. What are you doing, Angel? I, I'm trying to make a video. Anytime I'm out here making videos, she always wants to be in the video. Don't you, baby? Don't you? So, yeah. 
If you guys want a good looking big knife, although it does come with a sheath, but I couldn't find the sheath. I'm guessing I might have thrown it away or something. I don't know. But it does come with a sheath. The sheath, I can't remember if it's leather. I think it's leather. But I wouldn't recommend taking this out unless you're really going out there deep into the woods. And you need something for protection against wildlife or survival in case if you get into an emergency situation. I would not be carrying this because this thing is heavy as anything. And it's just, I wouldn't recommend it. Unless, like, the only reason I bought this was as a collectible item. And just because it looked cool. And I love it. And it's one of my best knives so far. But, speaking of best knives, this would be my number two knife. This one would be my number three knife. My number one knife is one that I've recently bought. For this Halloween. Ethan bought one as well. Which I'm going to be getting the one he has. Because his actually is from a video game. Hey Angel. So. This one is. A. Gerber knife. That's the brand name is Gerber. It's got a. For once it's got a really nice sheath to it. Before we take a look at the knife, I want you guys to take a look at the sheath. Nice plastic sheath. Not, well, I mean, this one does have a plastic piece. But it's just this little piece. That's the only plastic piece. But this one, the whole entire sheath right here where the knife goes is completely thin. It's completely plastic. And it's got rubber around the edge. It's actually rubber and plastic. And if you want to, you can undo it and just carry this. Uh, there are, in fact, hang on. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Hmm. Hmm. I never really did take to uh, looking at this thing very carefully. I just left it the way it was. But it is a good looking knife. I've, I love it. It's a good sheath. And you've got a whole lot of different stuff of ways of, you can, of how you can carry this thing. But for me, this is one of my ways is I just carry it with a, by a belt. And once again, it's not really one of those knives that you would normally take unless you're out there in the woods or something and in a survival situation. Now, this is the knife, the Gerber knife, and it is a good knife. It's got a rubberized grip to it, and it's perfect for like, like, it's, it's just real good. I love it. It's got a good grip to it. So whenever you're needing to make those precise cuts, your hands aren't slipping, especially when they're sweaty. They've got little uh, paddings on the uh, grips as well. And they've even got a little, uh, I don't know, I can't remember what you call this. But it's for like whenever you need to smash through something or cut something or bang something. And it's a really good knife all in all. This thing was made in Portland or the USA. I'm guessing. I'm going to bet you. And once again, on the blade there, it says Gerber. And then it says Portland or USA, which I don't really know what that means. But it's one of those really good knives. It's nice and just comfortable. And it's got the guards the guards for the blades but it is one of those really good knives and especially when you're wanting to jab at something it's got it's got this right here so you can make those precise cuts i'm going at two okay but yeah it's one of those really good knives and if ethan were here to have him show you guys his knife his knife is a buck knife, and that's a really good knife. 
um, which I will be buying one of those at Walmart next time. But this is by far my favorite knife. This is the one I recommend for anything, including this smaller one. But this one is the best. And whenever you put this in here, it clips in there. Once you hear that clip, shoot. Once you hear a clip, you know it's locked in place. And there is no way of it getting out. And just to make sure, they've come with two clip clips. So you can attach it like that. And then there you go. You got a good looking knife. So those are that's my number one. The smaller one is my number two, and the la and the last one is this one actually, because it's just way too heavy and bulky and just too big. You don't need something this big unless you're actually like in Alaska or something hunting bear, and you need something good to pull out and stab a bear with. I wouldn't recommend it. No, uh, the um the best one I'd recommend for any child or teenager is this one because it's nice small but yet big enough that if you need to actually cut something you can so that's my recommendation i mean unless you're collecting knives like me i wouldn't recommend any of these others i'll just recommend this one because that's the best one that you've got you got a curved handle and if you want to have a little fun and make a spear you can undo the wrappings around here and turn it into a spear so which none of these others i don't think can be turned into a spear so yeah it's they're good knives i love them they were definitely a little pricey especially the last two but they're definitely worth the money so i would if if you want to get a good knife i'd rather highly recommend those so all for ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I will, I will be uploading some videos about my new bed. I got me, I bought me a new mattress. Um, I've, I've thrown away my old mattress because it's gone to the point where I can't even sleep on the bed anymore. It's like I wake up with back cramps and stuff, and it just, it's. Whenever you're having, to, whenever you're working at a place that's a hardware store or something. And you can't sleep that good. It makes it for a rough day. So I finally went and bought me a new bed. And it's one of those Mr. Mattress beds. And oh, I went and tried it out whenever I went to buy it. I tried out any of the beds. And I found mine perfect one. The one that suits me. And it's going to be arriving later on today. And maybe I can film it for you guys. If I, I'm going to ask the guys if I can... Maybe record them uh, taking out of the car. And yeah, we'll see from there. So without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a good day. And I'll see you guys later. Shire Goblin, out.